As much as I love our life at the chateau, I do miss the mountains. I grew up in the Alps and remember winter as a marvelous time for hiking and skiing in a white landscape, while the average winter days here look a bit like this. And that's precisely why we are on a trip to South Tyrol, and I hope to share with my family and you the enchantment I was fortunate enough to experience in my childhood. It's an 800-mile car journey, and since there's only so much Anastasia songs an adult can endure before reaching the point of abandoning the infants at the next Tesla charger, we opt to break the trip in half with a hotel stopover. And it's on day two that my mountains appear, first in Switzerland, then in Austria, and finally we cross the border to northern Italy, where the sun awaits us, but unfortunately also the North Tyrolean snow has gone. Philip's family live in the pretty historical city of Bautzen. The houses are so old that our chateau feels like a new build next to them. And there's of course the Christmas market to sample Glühwein and local produce. Philip's cousin and his wife invited us over for Christmas, which here is celebrated on the 24th in the evening. And presents are given by the Christkind, an angelic child which might or might not be the incarnation of baby Jesus. Thank you so much for the hospitality, Johannes and Veronica. We use real candles, you see that? Real candles. I love it. It's a little bit of a fire hazard, but we love it. Our kids discovered ice skating and would have been happy to spend the rest of the holidays doing just that. But Philip had other plans. There was a lot of snow a couple of weeks ago, but then it got warmer and now it's like this. And there's a lake where people do ice skating in the distance. Maybe we should try ice skating I've later. Never, I've never ice skated on a real lake. No? No. Ella, wrong way. I didn't like to climb uphill as a child, and my children don't like it either. But I learned from my mom that if you distract them with absurd tasks like counting big rocks or collecting sticks, they eventually move forward and might even get excited. Are we making a pause, Lily, already? Are you tired? I'm thirsty. And thirsty. Try to lift it up then. The treasure and we'll be rich. That would be amazing. Yeah, and we'll buy a motorbike. <gasps> would I get a motorbike? Yep. Thank you. So that's such a good hiding strategy to make a symbol because everybody sees it. Yeah, would but they couldn't open it up. Oh, yes. Because they don't have a super papa. The last meters. I'm glad that our girls are a melting pot of cultures and it's not only evident when they are switching between English, French and German, it's also in their DNA. It's important for me that they know their origins, which is why I'm happy that for this week's ad we've partnered with MyHeritage, the leading service for family history research and DNA testing. The family records on my dad's side are written down on an old piece of paper. Building our family tree online means there is no danger of it being forgotten in a dusty drawer. It's been super simple to make, and because there are 90 million users, even if you don't know much about your family history, MyHeritage can find new family members and records easily. One of my favorite tools is the photo enhancement. 
I've been having fun adding old family pictures to put names to faces, and in just one click they can be repaired, enhanced, colorized, or even animated. Without doubt, the most exciting part of creating a family tree has been the instant discoveries, which is when you either discover a new person or photo to add to your family tree, and which can also mean discovering a whole branch of your family, which you can add in just one click. On my Nana's side of her family, there was a little bit of mystery because her parents were both brought up in a children's home. And although my aunt has done a lot of research, she kind of got blocked and she couldn't get any further back than their great grandparents. So I'm now about to discover who my great, great, great grandfather was. And I'm really excited. Wow, there's loads of new family members. Six generations, John Robinson. In just one click, I've filled in a void that's been there for a very long time, and I'm really excited to share this new information with all my family, especially my aunt. I know she's gonna be really excited when I tell her. If you're interested in learning more about your family history, sign up for a 14-day free trial and enjoy all the amazing features MyHeritage has to offer. If you decide to continue your subscription, you'll get a 50% discount. It has a sign saying no dogs. Oh no. Oh no, look at this. But then we had a chat with the friendly owner. Ziggy looked at him with his innocent eyes and he was allowed inside, provided he would stay under the table. Which was lucky as we got to sample the local cuisine, bread dumplings and steak. Philip, what are you eating here? I went for the vegan option, uh, spare ribs. And Lily, you're having Wiener schnitzel. Ladies, we have to go. Why? Are you staying here? No doubt we had a lovely day, but it wasn't what I had in mind. And now there's only one day left before we have to head back to France and our renovations. The weather turned bad overnight, so there could be snow, but would there be sun for us to enjoy it? First of January, overnight it has snowed and it is looking beautiful this morning. So we changed our plans and we have headed up into the mountains and we're gonna go have some fun with the girls and Ziggy. Ziggy's raring to go. And Ziggy got his little dog coat. Yeah, he's looking very chic. Come on, Ziggs. Okay, so we decided to see how strong Ziggy is. He's gonna pull the girls along, aren't you? I help you, Ziggy. I come. We go together, Ziggs. Oh, come on, Ziggs.
Yeah. Anna, yeah. these mountains up there yeah. should remind you something. Uh, I would like to say yes, and I should probably say yes, but they kind of all look the same. <laughs> Actually, is that where we were this summer when you tried to almost kill me? Exactly. What is it? The sign says somebody died here whilst harvesting Edelweiss. No. May he rest in peace. What do you have? I have um, noodle, cheese noodle with some uh, kraut salad. That's very good. Noodle. Omelette. That's what we call omelette. And knudel is goulash. Hello. I hope all the climbing up the hill was worth it because now it's sledge time. This is the fun part. The fun part. Yeah. We're going down here, all down somewhere here. Look how beautiful it is there. Papa, I want to go on my own. Okay, she wants to go on her own. Aber immer wieder prüfen, ob du auch bremsen kannst. So. Ja. Okay, go, 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 go. Kannst du schneller. Schneller, schneller. Good, well done, Ella. We carry the sledge and now we have to walk. Oh, that is not fair. Ella, you're driving, right? Yeah. Ella? Are you yeah. driving? Yeah. Are you in control? Do you know yeah. what you're doing? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> wow! Papa's on the lead! Ah! Uh. Reality versus Instagram. <laughs> so what are we having now? We're having a bombardino, eggnog. And that's because we survived the downhill? We did. We had to walk most of the time because the kids wanted to do the thing by themselves. It was disappointingly short the yeah. way down compared to Was the way it up. Short? It went too fast. Yeah, yeah. too fast, yeah. Cheers. Cheers, Cheers Hedegaard. Cheers. 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 Yeah, if you want to make a dry January and you're on a diet, that's the ideal drink. No, it's not. It has alcohol in it. Do you have to be so smart all the time? Yeah. Smart thing. And here the girls are having a hot chocolate. And what did you do? You put sugar in your hot chocolate, which is already extremely sugary, right? It doesn't change anything. No. Well, I feel lucky having found exactly what I was hoping for. Now we have to pack our car and bid farewell to my South Tyrolean family and the mountains. 
But I know that this year we have gifted our children something precious for Christmas. The memory of a winter in the Alps.